It's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to make a video about selection statements in Python. Now a huge part about programming is being able to do certain things if uh, depending on the conditions that are happening. For instance, when you go home from school, you have a choice to do your homework if you have a lot, or if you don't have a lot, you know, you can slack off and watch TV. And it's sort of, and you can teach computers how to make decisions like that. You know, for instance, if it's raining, you want to put your coat on. If it's sunny, you want to put shorts on. And you can teach a computer how to make decisions like that as well. So one quick example of this is how is something called the if statement. So let's say I'm going to I'm going to take a num here, and I'm going to ask for an input. I'm going to say input. Oh, I'm going to do the input statement. I'm going to say um, input a number, and then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take that num and I'm going to convert it to an integer because I need it to be an integer and not a string, if you remember from my other tutorial. And now I'm going to use a selection statement, which is called an if statement. And what if does is it says is it's I'm going to give it an if I'm going to give it the keyword if, and then I'm going to check for a condition. And if the condition is true, the if statement is going to run. So if num is greater than 100, and then in Python you need to put a semicolon, and um, after you press enter, you need to make sure there's a tab on your next line. So I can't start my line here. I need to start it with, I need to start it four spaces after or with a tab. It's most often spaces are used because uh, if you switch to different text editors, the spaces will be different. So it's good to use four spaces. If you use a tab, the spaces will be different because tabs are defined differently for different things. So if the number is greater than 100, I'm going to print that, need to give it a string, that number is too high. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a lot actually. I am I'm asking someone for a number which is given to me in a string on line eight, and then it's and then num is a string, so I need to convert it to an integer, and I sign it back to num, and then I do this if statement with the keyword if, and I check. I use this greater than symbol, which is you know in math most of the time, so you guys know what that means. It says if num is greater than one hundred, and then I do a colon to denote this is a statement. And then I and then if it's greater than 100, I'm going to print the number is really high, and basically, and I need to have this tab here to say, hey, this if statement, this print statement right here is a part of this if statement. That's why um, Python is a space. It's um, based on spaces. It's a space-based language. It doesn't. It does care about what white space is, and white space is spaces, tabs, and end of lines. So. You do need a tab here to say, oh, hey, the if statement is part of it. So let me show you guys something. So when I talk about the space in Python, if I don't have any space, if I don't have any space or any tabs before anything, that that, that statement is not a part of anything. But if I do have a tab, it means that statement is a part of anything. So the fact that this is tabbed out means this is a part of something. It's part of this if statement or a part of something that has a colon afterwards. So let me show you guys this program quickly so let me run this and now I'm going to input a number I'm going to give it 12 and see what happened is what happened here with the if statement is I gave it 12 it kind of looks crappy I can run it again I can run it again I'm going to give it 12 and then it's going to give me high so what happened is I gave it a number it made an integer and then I checked is num greater than 100 no it's not so I'm not going to execute this print statement but then I go down to line 13 which has nothing on it and then I go to line 14 and then I print high, and the if condition does not, um, the if condition does not care about this print, this line 14, this print high right here, because it only cares about you know what's indented, what what I tabbed, because I am saying okay, everything tabbed after this semicolon, after this colon is associated with the if statement, so I need to tab it or give it four spaces, and that is how I associate with it. The high will actually execute no matter what I do. So for another example, I'm going to run this program and I'm going to give it 111. And so now I gave it a number 
I gave it a number greater than 100, I got here to this if statement. It said, oh, is num greater than 100? Yes, that's true. That statement is true. So if that statement is true, if that is true, then I'm going to execute what is in this print statement. I'm going to do it and I can have multiple, um, I can have multiple things inside my if statement. I just need to keep on indenting them. So both of these statements here, um, adding one and printing are part of this if statement. This high is still not a part of this if statement. This high will always execute, which is important to understand. But now I'm going to show you guys another keyword. I'm going to show you the else keyword. The else keyword doesn't need a condition, but what the else does <clears throat> is, is it says if, you know, it, it, an else is chained along with an if. It's called an if else statement. So if I have my if if I have my if statement here, if num is greater than 100, I also want to have an else. So what do I do if else is getting printed out? I print this num is low. And what I'm doing right there is I'm printing out I'm going to print out what happens if this condition is not true. So if the num is greater than 100, print this out. Print out that number is too high. But else, otherwise, print out this number is low. So no matter what number I enter, something will get printed out. One of these two statements will get printed out. So I'm going to input 23. And it printed out this number is low. So it checked if num is greater than 100, that's false. So false means this if statement will not execute. And now I have else. And then so otherwise, it's going to print this is low. Now, in an if, only one of these will execute in an if block. So think about what will happen if I, if I run this program and type in 100. What should happen? It will print out this is low because num is not greater than 100. It is equal to 100, but it's not greater than 100. So that's kind of cool too. So that number is low. So an else and if is used, an if and an else, and if is decided to make decisions, and else is what happens if, if none of the, if no if statements are true. So the else is kind of the reverse of the if, but it allows you to, you know, make certain decisions. You know, like if, you know, I get an A, I'm gonna be happy, but otherwise I'm not gonna be happy. So. That's something to be to think about and something that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, you can visit my GitHub repo or you can ask in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. Bye.